Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Violence picks up in the Occupy Wall Street protests. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As you may know, my pal Glenn Beck believes the Occupy protest movement is just the beginning of a worldwide far left revolt. Beck bases his assessment on what's happening in Greece, Italy and other places that are trying to cut back on entitlement spending and protesters are going wild. With the economy bad pretty much everywhere, there is some sympathy for these kinds of protests around the globe. Talking Points is not quite as agitated as Beck is, but we are watching the situation very closely here in the USA. And there is no question that the violent component of the demonstrations is on the rise. Right now, the occupiers are clustered in about 20 American cities, with New York being the centerpiece. So far, more than 900 protesters have been arrested in this city. And the cost of the demonstrations is approaching $4 million, which, of course, will be borne by the New York taxpayer. In Oakland, California, Things are getting rowdy, according to some reporters on the scene. The tone out here has changed. We have been threatened. They were telling us if we tried to take our cameras into the plaza and into the camp area, they would take our cameras and break them. Tonight, constitutional rights were tread on. TV crews were manhandled by occupation protesters. Our cameras nearly slung to the ground following what amounted to an edict by occupation organizers. We ask that you... Point your cameras towards City Hall and not towards the tents. Claiming we weren't asking consent to videotape while in a public space, one protester's dog went after a local reporter. That dog's teeth snagged on his suit coat. It's the only thing that saved his arm. Talking Points believes there is now danger of people being hurt and killed because some of these protesters are simply out of control. In Cleveland, there's an allegation that one of the protesters raped a woman. And whenever you have thousands of people emotionally charged, anything could happen. America honors protests as part of our tradition makes the country strong. But as we have been reporting, the Occupy Wall Street demonstrations are not just about economics. You have radical people stirring up trouble. And according to a recent survey, 31 percent of the New York City protesters believe using violence is OK in order to accomplish their goals. The authorities must continue to be restrained, but they also must have very definite rules any law breaking, any law breaking has to be prosecuted and any threats have to be taken seriously. Factors all over the story because we believe it has a potential to get out of hand. And it does. And that's a memo.